you know, we came out and competed and just try to do our best to take it one game at a time and get a win. The Boston Celtics finished with their fourth consecutive win as they downed the Toronto Raptors 132 to 125 on Thursday night and now head into the All-Star break on a high note. We saw another balanced scoring attack on offense as eight players finished in double figures with the bench contributing 51 points in the win. Post game, the team discussed how they stayed the course during a rough patch and the importance of coming together as a group. Uh, we just continue to stay the course and playing hard and playing together, believing in one another. Um, I think our game in Atlanta woke us up, getting beat how we did and not competing at a high level in these last four games. Man, we came out and competed and just try to do our best to take it one game at a time and get a win. We showed a lot of resolve to stay together and to, you know, tackle this challenge together instead of pulling apart. I said this the other night. But, you know, like any of these four games could have gone the other way. And I think that's important to remember. And so we have a lot of work to do to be, you know, the kind of team we ultimately want to be. Knowing that, you know, we kind of finished off the right way um, and, you know, now going into a break, we just take some time off and, and enjoy whatever we're doing, enjoy the All-Star game. So, you know, um, we're sure going to feel better you know, flying down there Atlanta in a couple of days. Now, Jason Tatum and Bradley Beal will be on the same team for the All-Star game. And Tatum mentioned how excited he was about the opportunity, and that is what he was hoping for all along. He also said that everyone knows how close they are in the history that they have. So it's a very special moment for the two of them.